The entrepreneurial problem is the choice of products, services, markets, customer types, basically a domain to operate in. That's a, a choice that firms make. The engineering problem is how to produce your product and deliver it to that chosen domain. And then the administrative problem that you face and have to solve is how you set up an organization and a management system in order to be able to do everything you've decided to do. The Defender strategy is a way of going through the adaptive cycle and, and competing in the industrial environment that you're in. A uh, classic case would be uh, Dell. Uh, Dell has essentially from its inception been a firm that assembles computers out of components and then sells them typically online to customers. Uh, they, they evolved into something more complex than that but including having six um, manufacturing facilities dotted around the world but uh, just a few weeks ago they sold those six plants and so Dell really only now uh, markets computers and they're manufactured, assembled and uh, elsewhere and then distributed by UPS or, or some logistics firm and so Dell is not known for its uh, innovation capabilities that's occurring elsewhere it's simply a, a broker in between the manufacturers and the customers. In many ways, prospectors are just the opposite of defenders. They have a very different view of how to approach the market. They have a very different system for uh, solving the engineering problem, the delivery to the market. And as a result, they have a very different culture inside their organizations about how to, how to behave, even though they might be in the same industry as, as defender firms. So prospectors are known for being first to the market with new products, new services, new technologies. They invent things that they try to commercialize and make successful. And with that strategic orientation, it requires a very different set of capabilities and processes in order to pull it off. Uh, the classic prospector would uh, be Apple as a company that everyone knows. I mean, they were originally a a computer company, but they hardly are viewed that way anymore. But in the 30 or so years of their existence, they've continually come up with new ideas, new products, new services, and perhaps you'd call them a digital media player company. Uh, when Apple first started, uh, that wasn't even an industry or a product category, so they're the type of firm that continually prospects and comes up with new things to do. The, the third type now to complete the typology is the analyzer and they share some of the characteristics of prospectors and some of the characteristics of defenders. These firms are very good at analyzing what's going on in the, in the business environment and then making informed decisions about what kinds of products or services that they want to engage in. And so they are often quick second ends to the prospectors. And, uh, that creates their own special niche that they can be effective in, uh, watching what prospectors do and then taking the best of their experiments and coming out with their own version of the product or service. Perhaps the example that I would cite is uh, Roche, a company used to be called uh, Hoffman Roche. It's a Swiss-based company, a large pharmaceutical firm. But in one sense, it's, Roche is no different than other large pharmaceutical firms that uh, are in the U.S. And they have, as, as a group, although this isn't a deliberate decision that any firm has made, those firms that were either unable or unwilling to make all of the investments to become a full-blown prospector, defender, or analyzer became what we call a reactor. And this is usually a temporary condition. Um, reactors won't exist in the industry for lengthy periods of time. They'll be driven out by more effective strategies and competitors. But in this temporary condition, a reactor, in fact, we found three types. Um, remember, they're not very prominent in the industry. They're usually um, 
either not found at all or a very small number of firms, but the type one reactor was one that simply couldn't get its act together strategically and couldn't figure out how to be a good prospector, analyzer, or defender. The type two was one that did have a clear-cut strategy that they were trying to pursue, but they didn't have the system in place to pull it off. They didn't have the right structure, the right set of management processes, or whatever. And then the type three was a very interesting type that uh, did know what it wanted to do and, and had a good system in place for implementing its strategy. The problem is the strategy no longer fit the environment that the firm was in. So these were companies that were very good at doing what doesn't need to be done anymore. Uh, but as I said, most of them are temporary. Uh, most firms or reactors are in a temporary mode and uh, eventually they come out of that mode and become one of the other three types.